welcome back to another Construct video, and in this video we're looking at the idea of teleporters. Now if I play this level at the moment, you'll see I've got two teleporters set up with a very very simple animation. If I walk into them, nothing really happens at the moment, and this is what we want to fix. We want to be able to go through one and come out the other side. So let's get started. So first thing we need to do is go straight to our event sheet today, and we're going to set up a global variable. So the first one we need to set up is teleport from and this is going to be the teleport we've come from so we know not to go back to that teleporter the second one we're going to do is we're going to set up a boolean called jumping and this is just going to check if we've gone through a teleport or not so easiest thing to start with is just check if we're touching a teleporter so if overlapping the teleporter what do we want to do there's two things that we want to do at this stage so first one is we want to go to the system and we want to set the value of teleport from and this is going to be equal to teleporter dot idd so this gets the version or the instance of that particular teleporter we're saving it this is really important because we want to check this when we're going to another teleporter to make sure we're not going back to that same teleporter we're also going to go to system and we're going to set boolean jumping to true now we can go to our second event and we go to system and we're going to check if a boolean set and it's going to be jumping now if that boolean set we want to also add another condition and we want to do this system scroll down and pick by comparison and this will allow us to pick which teleport we go to and we want any teleporter where the teleporter.idd is not equal to teleport from. So this is essentially checking that we'll go to any teleporter as long as it does not match the one we've just come from. Because if not, we're not going anywhere. What we also want to do is to make sure that we're not just going to the same different teleporter each time. We can just add another condition system scroll down and pick random instance of teleporter now what this will do is if we've got multiple teleporters it'll pick one at random for us to go to so we'll test this in just a second so as soon as jumping is equal to true what we're going to do is set it back to false so we've run this code once and once only we're then going to take the teleporter that we're currently being sent to and the first thing we're going to do is set collisions and we're going to disable the collisions this means as soon as we go through the teleporter it's not going to try and teleport us back immediately we can now take our player and we can set its position and this position is going to be set to teleporter.x and teleporter dot y and just hit done then we're going to put a wait time and i think about one second is just about right and this is how long before that teleporter can teleport us back the way and again this just means that when we go through the teleporter we're not getting teleported straight back again so we just do teleporter set collisions and we re-enable collisions so we're able to overlap it again and that's it that's our basic teleporter setup. So now if we go in one teleporter, we come out the other side. And if we go back in, we go back out the other side. Now I mentioned that this works with multiple teleporters. So if we add a couple of extra teleporters, it'll pick one at random for us to go through. So we can test this now. So we've gone through this one. We've gone back through this one. We've gone through this one this time. So completely random. And we end up in lots of different locations. Right, let's take this code a step further. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click, and we're going to add an instance variable to our teleporter, and we're going to call this channel. And this is going to be a string. Now what the channel is going to do is allow us to set different teleporter channels. So if you've got channel one set up, it will take you to any other teleporter that has the same channel. So with our current teleporters at the moment, what we're going to do is I'm just going to hold shift to select all of them. I'm going to call this channel red. 
I'm then going to go into my teleporter, edit animations. I'm just going to change the name of this one to red. And then I'm just going to copy this animation. So duplicate. I'm going to rename this green. I'm going to have a green channel as well. Of my green channel, I'm just going to take all the animations and just fill them in. And if you've got the bucket tool selected and it's not filling it all in, you just need to untick this option. And it'll pick all of the same colored pixels and replace them. So now I've got that set up. I can add two more teleporters to my level. I'm going to hold shift to select both of them. And these are going to be set up on the green channel. I'm going to change the channel to green. So green animation, green channel. And as long as we spell that channel the same, we'll be able to teleport between them. Now for the logic to get this to work. So now we've got that set up into our logic. We're going to add a new global variable. We're going to call this channel. And this is going to be a string. And press OK. And we're going to set our system. I'm going to set the value of channel to equal teleporter.channel. And then on this side, we're going to add another condition to say teleporter compare instance variable. And we want to check where channel equals the channel at the top. And then hit done. And then if we run this, if we go through a red teleporter, we'll come out another red teleporter. And this is random if we've got more than one. And then if we go to a green teleporter, we'll always come out of a green teleporter. So adding more functionality. Now there's a final extra you may want to add. And again, we're just adding extras now to our teleporters is actually have senders and receivers. So I'm going to go to my teleporter. I'm going to edit instance variables. And I'm going to add two more. So first one, I'm going to say receiver. And this is going to be set to a Boolean. And by default, I'll just tick it on. I'm going to add another one. And this is going to be a sender. And again, by default, we're going to have it on. So what we can do is we can go through. And for each one, we can tick if it receives or if it sends. So I'm going to make this one a sender only. And I'm going to make this one a receiver only. Then for our code. If we're overlapping a teleporter, we're just going to add a new condition. We're just going to say if that teleporter compare instance variable, and we're going to compare boolean. Sorry, we're going to say if sender if the teleporter is a sender, and then on this one, we're just going to add another condition. We're just going to say teleporter is boolean set and receiver. So now. If the teleporter has got the sender tag, it will send. If it's got the receiver tag, it will receive. In this case, this one will only send, but you cannot come back through this teleporter. And this one, you can come through this teleporter, but you can't go back through it. And we can apply different animations for those teleporters if we want. So let's do a test. So this is a two-way one. We can go through it. This one's just a receiver, so you'll see that I can't actually go through it. And this one's a sender. So no matter how many times we try, we'll never go through that particular teleporter. And this one, again, we can't go through it. If you have enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.